What is the simplest trading strategy for beginner traders? Let's find out in today's video. Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. You can call me the girl who trades. In today's video, we are going to discuss one of the simplest trading strategies for beginner traders. So in the Forex market, usually price is either trending upward, downward or sideways. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to trade a trending market, which is very simple for beginner traders. I personally trade this method almost all the time and it makes me some good money. Please note, it doesn't matter how you trade. At the end of the day, you should be catching some pips to make good money. So if this method works for you, great. If you have another method that works for you consistently and makes you money, that's fine too. The most important thing is that at the end of the day, you are catching pips and making good money. So today we are not going to talk much. Let's get straight into the charts. Okay, so um, on the chart right now, we have pound yen on the four hour time frame. This is trading view. Um, this is the website I used to do all my analysis before I execute on MetaTrader 4. So um, here we have pound yen on the four hour time frame. And I have used the replay tool to send it back to 27th May um, so that I can show you how the trending market um, usually works. So you see here that um, the market was in an uptrend and then it got to this area here where it was just moving sideways. So as I said, you are either in an uptrend, a downtrend, or it's just moving sideways. So you realize that from 10th May, um, up until like 27th, it was just moving sideways, not exactly moving upward, not exactly moving downwards. So from um, this time, I'm going to press play and then we see what happens. So market went up a little and then started coming down. So when it, it comes down to a point, then starts moving up again heads down again let me pause now so you realize that um price started moving down it moved down from 156.06 to about um the lower um, to the low of about 155 um 33 and then it went back up to about 155.94 so you hear lots of times that people are talking about higher highs and lower lows this is just what it means that the price and um, the highest point here was this point up here of 166 150 156 um, point about 0.4 and then the next high point was about um 155.94 that area and so this new high is lower than the previous high. So that's all that it means when we talk about higher, lower lows or higher highs and lower highs and lower lows. So in a downtrend, usually you have lower highs and lower lows. So we have one low point here, that um, the lowest point here being 155.30. So we'll see if we have this, this area serves as the low, next lowest point. And usually when you have this, you can connect the high points. Um, I like to connect on the wick. People like to connect on the body. Personally, I like to connect on the wick because that's like how how much the price, where the price ended, like the point where a price got to. So I like to connect on the wick. So we'll see. The next time the price gets to the, the trend line drawn, we will kind of look for an entry around that point so i'm going to let the price play again and then we see how we can enter so we seem to have a new low here around 154.90 there let me stop this right here let me stop this here okay we seem to have a new low down here nope. um and this is our new lower low which is our, the price around 15480 so this is a higher low and this is a lower low and this is um a, a high here a lower high a lower high now this area um this candlestick formation right here is a very good signal that price is going to continue downward this here if you guys want me to do um 
a video just talking about candlestick formations and how useful they can be um just drop it in the comment section i will get to that but this right here is my indication to go short i will enter right here put my stop loss above the previous high i am very conservative when it comes to my stop losses I, I i usually don't like to make my stop loss too tight with proper risk management i think you can afford to use a good stop loss because sometimes price can retrace can come back and retest the trend line and I, you don't want to be so close and be stopped out and then price continues in your direction now about taking profit you realize you always look to the left of your chart okay to take profit now in the past here you saw that price um this was um a resistance level and you see that this same resistance serves as a support and that's where this price rejected from so that's a good enough area to take my first profit and then i will come down again to this point maybe also uh, another resistance area down here and this can be my second take profit my second profit target level please do remember that price may not go straight away into profit and that can be daunting especially for a beginner trader so that's the reason why backtesting is of is um is very essential in your trading journey you have to backtest so if i press play now you see that price was price didn't move straight away into profit and you see that we've come back up to retest the trend line and then let's see if it goes down now boom we start going down first take profit is hit now after the first take profit level was attained you realize that price didn't go straight to my second take profit it's like ranging a little bit retraced and then still didn't hit my second take profit that's fine there we go so my second take profit level has been achieved that is it it's important it's very very important for every trader to be patient now usually if i have such a big move a big candle and it's more than about 30 40 pips i usually move my stop loss to break even so um at this point with this huge candle here um, let me just measure it um that huge candle would be about a little more than 40 pips which is good enough so after that 40 pip candle i would move my stop loss to break even so that even if this trade goes against me i don't lose anything but you re please remember i usually swing trade and it takes time before the trade will play out this trade would have taken easily about four days before you'd hit your full take profit so you have to learn to be patient the only way you can learn to be patient like this is if you've back tested and you're comfortable um you know how long usually your trades take so this is a very simple way of trading the market once you have your points your first point and your second point you're able to use that to draw a trend line know which um, candlestick patterns that are high probability for going short or long and then use that to enter into the trade please do remember that if there is no confirmation around the trend line you would not enter the trade this is important to note because sometimes there can be a break of the trend line and the price will just continue upward so it's important to note that you have to have a high probability candlestick formation that is um, confirmatory that you can enter the trade and you move so um that's it for today's video i hope you've learned something new um, from this let me know if you want me to do a video on candlestick formations alone and how um to use them to trade um, to trade the market and i will do that in the next video Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've learned something new. Um, please do like um, the video, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Let them also learn something. Um, quick disclaimer, I do not have a Facebook page. I'm not on Twitter and I don't have a Telegram signal page. 
um if anyone asks you to send them money please um there are lots of scammers around if anyone asks you to send them money always ask for a video call besides i won't ask you to send me money for anything i don't do account management thank you guys so much um i'll catch you guys in the next video so till next time it's the girl who trades